What is up everyone, welcome back to the Commander Slayer, it's of course Joey here, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today's deck tech is going to be a Kervak the Merciless and Obosh the Prey Piercer companion deck tech. This is a subscriber requested deck tech, I'll have the comment on screen here. Um, so I'll just explain quickly, companion works that basically if the if the, your whole deck meets the compliancy of the rules for the companion uh, that it has on the text, you can pay three generic at any time to put that card into your hand and then it's just basically in the game just as usual and you know it can get exiled whatever and it's gone um just like any other regular card does so kevac is five black red so seven mana total for a five four human shaman whenever opponent casts a spell kevac the most of this deals damage to the tug creature or player equal to that spell cmc and whenever an obosh the praise piercer is three and then hybrid rectos hybrid rectos so five mana total for a three five hellion horror with the companion your starting deck contains only cards with odd cmcs and land cards and if a source you control with an odd cmc would deal damage to a permanent or player it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead so obviously the theme is pretty clear here we are playing a Rakdos burn deck with heaps of ramp because our commanders are very expensive uh, using only odd CMC cards as you can see in the deck list if you want to check the link uh, below and then basically we're going to be burning our opponents making sure that they have to burn themselves by playing spells as well punishing like that with a real punish a heavy deck and also protecting Kervac because once he is out it's likely that he will stay around and win the game right before i get into the deck tech make sure that you guys are subscribing if you like the content li uh, leaving likes down below if you do enjoy it and you know commenting any of your thoughts and anything like that i'd be happy to hear it all but basically the as i mentioned protection is very very key in this deck it is really hard to find protection in rakdos that is odd cmc because all of the best ones like Swiffer Boots and Lightning Greaves and a bunch of other cards are all uh, 2 CMC so they don't work. Uh, Undying Evil and Supernatural Stamina are the best cards to this. So they're slingshot effects so I'll just read out Supernatural Stamina. Uh, it's a 1 mana for an instant until end of turn target creature gets plus 2 plus 0 and when this creature dies return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. So basically if someone does kill Kervac it doesn't really matter because he's going to come back. He has no, it doesn't matter if he has haste, it doesn't matter about the counters he has on him because we're not using any actions like that. So just as long as he's on the board that's all we really care about. So, you know, just keeping him on the board, making sure he's around and alive is really useful. Um, and if it Whisper Silk Cloak is three generic for an artifact equipment, equipped creature can't be blocked and a shroud. So potentially we could punch through for our opponents for five damage, I guess. Why not? And, you know, also giving him shroud means that he, just, he can't be targeted, which is really useful because we're not targeting him. Besides all this protection effects, which you won't need to do if he's obviously alive. And, you know, just keeping him around is really, really useful. And somewhat with Obosh as well, he's kind of a nice boosting effect. He's not integral to the deck's strategy or anything. It's just nice to have him around because he's going to make all of our plays much better and kind of synergize with that like the other kind of double damage effects we have in this deck of which we do have a few angreth marauders and dictator of the twin gods are both really useful for giving him uh in to, give, to protecting him and also you know doubling the damage just like obosh would so obviously kevac is going to be making our opponents hit themselves which is very very useful but obosh is kind of more leaning towards us hitting our opponents and burning our opponents so we're kind of going to do a joint strategy there where we let we kind of have kevac there just as another additional burn effect you know it's a really really good one but we're just going to have this additional one and then obosh is kind of leaning towards us burning our opponents so we're going to be using a lot of our own burn effects so whether that's one off effects like dracos earth more or flames which is four red 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 for a seven seven four with flying so you know really good attacker there anyway it can deal lots of damage but it also has whenever it attacks it deals four damage to any target and three damage to each of up to two other targets so basically potentially this could deal eight damage to any target and then six to two others so you know when it attacks obviously dealing you know the 20 or damage is very very nice if we could potentially reach that um because it's going to be doubled by obosh and potentially even tripled uh with, with other damage you know doubling effects in this deck which isn't that unlikely potentially um However, you know, and Heartless Hitted Sugu is 3 red red for a 4 3 legendary creature Ogre Shaman. With Tap, Heartless Hitted Sugu deals damage to each player equal to half that player's life total, rounded down. So the rounded down thing is somewhat unfortunate, but basically, with the Obosh out, this is going to one shot kill any literally any player on the board that has an even life total whether that's 40 life 10 life 2 life um 120 like 10,000 it doesn't matter it's going to one shot any of them which is really really great and even if it doesn't even if they're on an odd number of life they're going to be so low that we can kill them with something like gutter snipe which is two in a red for a two two when you cast an int on a saucy spell gutter snipe deals two damage to each opponent so you know just really really nice pinger effect there it's just 
going to kind of consistent, really easy damage that we're going to be getting, you know, throughout the whole game, which is really, really nice. Zozu the Punisher is a great Punisher effect, obviously, as in the name. It's one red red for a 2-2 with Goblin Warrior. When the land ETPs, um, Zozu's Punisher deals two damage to that land's controller. So this does hit us as well, but we don't care as much because our opponent's going to be taking a lot more damage than we are. So obviously this is just nice for us. And then Spear Spear was another just low cost, you know, really useful effect. It's it's a red mana for an O2 with Defender and it deals one damage. You can tap it to deal one damage to each player. So, you know, really low impact, but, you know, over the course of the game, this can deal a lot of damage. And leaning into that um, thing of Kervak hitting our opponents and making them kind of, you know, hit, kill themselves, we don't really do that too much. The main card that actually does that is Tainted Strike, which is a black mana for instant. Target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains infect to length of tone. So, obviously, we're not attacking with him, but Kervak is the one dealing that damage. So, this doesn't work for commander damage, obviously, because commander damage has to be combat, but infect doesn't. As long as that creature is the one dealing the damage, it does. So, if if by some you know stretch of the imagination our opponent plays some massive spell or an X spell or plays their commander for a very high command attacks right then potentially we'll one shot kill them but realistically what this will be do is kind of a silence effect so we're going to pay that mana uh, for Tainted Strike, and it's going to, you know, see it deal 5-6 damage to them or something, and then they're just not going to cast any more spells in the turn, because if they do, they'll lose the game, so it's a nice way to shut them out like that. Finally, as I mentioned, we are playing heaps and heaps of ramp effects, you know, we play 13 ramp effects to make sure that we can get both of our commanders out really, really early. That's the most important thing, the earlier they're out, the better, because the more then we can get started and, you know, really get our deck churning. So, Burnished Heart, you know, just going to ramp effects like that, anything that's on odd CMC, so Commander Sphere is great as well. Um, Palladium Mirror, just anything that will come out early for us and get us heaps of mana um, as early as we possibly could. And then the, we can draw lots of cards as well while burning our opponent, so that's why we're playing 15 draw effects, just because as long as our opponents are, you know, taking damage, we don't really care, and getting card draw off, that's just a bonus, right? Browbeat is 2 and a red for a sorcery. Any player may have Browbeat deal 5 damage to him or her. If no one does, target player draws 3 cards, so we're going to choose ourselves for that draw. And... In a commander game, I've cast Browbeat uh, four or five times, I think. Pretty much every time, someone takes the five damage, which does suck for me. But in a burn deck, our opponent's going to be way less likely to deal that five damage. Because if they do, they're going to be, you know, instead of going from 30 to 25, they're going to be going from like 10 to 5. You know, it's going to be really, really easy to kill them when they're on such low life totals, which is really useful for us. Northspine Dragon, I felt I had to give a shout out. I found this card yesterday. I don't know how I hadn't seen it before. It's 5 red red for a 7 5 with flying. When it comes to play, you may discard your hand and draw cards equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. So, this isn't the damage Northspine Dragon dealt, it's the amount of damage that was dealt just generally. So, this is good in any red deck, I think, but especially in a burn deck. Let's say someone cast a 8 mana spell, right? It, you know, it isn't unbelievable to imagine. This is going to enter, give us a 7-5 dragon for 7 mana and draw us 8 cards, right? Just insane. Or let's say we use one of our burn effects, right? Let's say we did 5 damage to them. It's going to draw us 5 cards. Just a really, really, really useful draw card effect right there in red. And then sword point diplomacy is 2 and a black for a sorcery. If you're the top 3 cards of your library, for each of those cards, put that card into your hand and let any opponent pays 3 life, then exile the rest. So 3 mana draw 3 is obviously the best here. Otherwise, opponent's going to take 3 damage spread out each. So you know but up to nine damage in total to have us not draw any cards but the important thing there is that even if they do take the damage again we're in a burn deck them taking losing life is still really really nice for us and definitely what we want to be seeing again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did make sure to let me know in the comments or your thoughts on this deck or another deck deck you want to see like this deck deck i made for a subscriber i can do the same for you otherwise you know make sure to like if you're enjoying this content subscribe if you want to see more uh thank you guys all so much i like all the support and i'll see you guys all next time